I recently found out that Seek, the popular job hunting website, must put a salary range into their job listings, but they have the option to hide it from applicants. And someone very clever created a Chrome extension to dig that value out and give you visibility so you know what you should be asking for if you were thinking about applying. It's pretty handy, so today I thought I would make a quick video explaining how to add it to your browser and how to use it. But first, just quickly, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and even though most people should be able to figure this out for themselves, I figured why not make a quick tutorial, a quick explainer, where I kind of touch on everything there is to touch on instead of people who will just skip ahead, which feel free to do that. I just thought I would make that explainer for anyone who wants the full insight of how this thing works. So let's get into it. What exactly is it? It essentially takes the guesswork out of the salary range for jobs you might be applying for in your applicable career field. And then when looking at job listings on the Seek website, it will show you the salary band for those listings and what you should be asking for if you were to apply. That is literally it. That is the whole concept of what this extension does. Now, how do you go about adding it to your browser? Simply type salary seeker extension on Chrome and select add to Chrome. That's it, you're done. I've also left a link in the description down below to the website if you couldn't be bothered typing it in. Then finally, how do you use it? Simply go to seek and start with a job search. I work in the field of engineering, so I'm going to use that as my search criteria. For the sake of treating this video as if I was really applying for jobs, I'm going to add the location of where I would like to work as well, which is the state that I live in being South Australia. From here, let's open a few jobs that I might consider applying for or want to look into further. Just note, some job listings may actually display their salary range, but not all will. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to select listings that don't have it on by default. All right, now that I have a subset of jobs open in new tabs, let's take a look at the salary bands being displayed by the Salary Seeker extension. See here how it's now appeared at the bottom of the job overview. For a professional like myself, knowing these bands would give me confidence in stating how much money I want in an interview setting. This is also very handy because it would allow me to filter out the jobs that wouldn't be worth applying for as they might be a step in the wrong direction in terms of growing my income. And I know that a job isn't all about the money. It is a large portion of it, sure, but you should still feel like you're being fairly compensated for doing that work. And just as a side note as well, one other way to use this extension is to click on the icon in your toolbar that will present a drop down table of the most recent job you looked at. I actually find this little drop down useful to compare jobs that are similar. It saves me having to jump between tabs to do that comparison. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple to use and it's very easy to add to your browser. That's, that's literally it. I'm going to use this for the extent of my personal career in the field of engineering or anything that I transition into as long as those job listings are on seek and this extension continues to work. It's something that I think is invaluable to anyone who's job hunting and anyone who is looking for that insight because it should give you confidence walking into an interview asking for that figure and not having to waste anyone's time because you know exactly what they're willing to pay for that specific role. That's pretty much it. I hope you find this tool useful. I hope that today's video was useful. If it was, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It definitely goes a long way for the channel and I definitely do appreciate the support. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to do that. And I'll leave you there. Have a good day, have a good week. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.